Hello, good morning, everyone. <coughs> so, uh, today we shall focus on the this uh, aromatic compound here. Where are the rest of them? Okay, time switch for no man. So uh, shall we begin our lesson? Because uh, I cannot afford to wait. Huh? Okay, so uh, let's begin our lesson by completing the organic mind map. Lah. So today, we shall fill in all the blanks inside the uh, mind map for the aromatic compounds. So uh, we start from benzene, lah, the most basic uh, aromatic compounds in here. So uh, let's start from, uh, from benzene to become a cyclohexane, shall we? Okay, so from benzene to become cyclohexane, what do we add? So we add uh, hydrogen, okay. Uh, in uh, nickel, okay, catalyzed by nickel. Uh, you must specifically say that uh, high temperature and high pressure Okay, so this is for uh, Cycloalkane. Uh, this is how benzene convert to cycloalkane. Huh? Okay, then uh, the next is halobenzene. Okay, so uh, any halogens are uh, any halogens that you uh, you want might want to uh, you, uh, apply in here. So uh, you use what? Mm, okay, so in here you use uh, halogen X two uh, catalyzed by. Uh, Either AL uh, ALX3 la. or you can also catalyze uh, under reflux, also can. Okay, so to form the, this one, not necessarily must be aluminium, you can also use iron, la, for example, in here. Okay, then, uh, then the next one is this uh, toluene. So, how do you convert to toluene? So, the toluene in here, we use a uh, for example, in here, CH3. La. So you must use uh, specifically uh, CH3Cl. In catalyzed by AlCl3. Under reflux. La. Okay. Okay, so that is how you convert to toluene. 
And then what about to become acetophenone? Okay, so to become acetophenone, so you add what? You add acyl chloride. Eh? So you have CH3COCl. CH3COCl catalyzed by ALCL3. Then under reflux. Okay. Okay. Then uh, the next one we shall have is nitrobenzene. Okay, nitrobenzene. So from nitro uh, how do you convert to become nitrobenzene? So you have to specify uh, the word concentrated. Uh, Okay, the concentrated HNO3 catalyzed by concentrated H2SO4. Huh? Then you put under reflux. Okay, so that is for how you convert benzene to become uh, nitro benzene. Then what about benzene sulfonic acid? So you add SO3, uh, we call it as a fuming sulfuric acid. Huh? Okay. Catalyzed by concentrated uh, H2SO4 under reflux. Okay, so these are the five basic reactions of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions that we have in here. Okay, and of course, there are many side reactions. Lah. So, uh, among the starting from benzene, we have one that is filling with phenol. So, what do we uh, what do we add in order to form phenol in here? So, uh, so first you have to add what? Okay, if you still remember, first you have to add in the propene CH three CH double bond CH two. Okay, catalyzed by what? Uh, catalyzed by H three PO four lah. Okay, catalyzed by H3PO4. Okay, then under reflux, just put heating. Okay, heating. Okay, then followed by what? Followed by uh, oxygen. Okay, so you form a proxy cumin. Okay, under reflux. Okay, and finally for number three, okay, the final step is acidic hydrolysis. Ah, okay, uh, and here you put dilute H2SO4. Ah. Okay, and here you under reflux to form a uh, phenol. Ah. Okay, so this is one of the most basic way to form phenol. Ah. Okay, okay, so this is for uh the formation of the nitrobenzene. Okay, then, uh, sorry, from benzene to become phenol. Okay, of course, there are many other ways. For example, how do you convert halobenzene to phenol? Okay, from here to here, halobenzene to phenol. What do you use? So in here, you, you uh, first you react with hydrolysis first. Uh, you react with sodium hydroxide, but this hydrolysis is very hard to occur because the halogen, uh, the CX bond is short and strong due to the sp2 hybridized furthermore it's stabilized by resonance structure so you require high temperature and also high pressure okay then followed by uh, now you first form phenoxide lah. you first form phenoxide okay then you have to later add in acidic react uh, acidic substance Okay, to form phenol in here. Okay, okay, so that is how the two ways to form phenol. Huh? So later we will continue. Okay, uh, then in the reaction of phenol, so phenol can, uh, the special chemistry of phenol in here, you can further react to form two other substances. So what are the two uh, react, uh, what are the two very important reaction? First is the formation of the bro, uh, 246 tribromophenol. So you add in bromine water, Br2 aqueous. Okay, 
So you form a 246 triboromphenol, so which is a white precipitate. Lah. White precipitate. Okay. So this is one of the chemical tests to distinguish between phenol and also alkyl alcohol. Lah. Very common. Lah. Okay. And then the other one is also a test for phenol. Uh, this one will uh, form iron, so you react with iron 3 plus. FeCl3 la, FeCl3, okay, uh, under reflux, okay, so you form iron 3 peroxide, which is actually violet in color, la. violet in color, purple in color, la. I should have write in the purple marker, but never mind, la. same, la. okay, so these are the few reactions involving uh, phenol, okay, so you have to try your best to remember, okay, then uh, we continue here. The third one is the esterification. Uh. So esterification, you must use phenol react with benzoyl chloride. Uh. Benzoyl chloride. This one you must uh, react under alkaline condition. Okay, you must react under alkaline condition, then under reflux to form the ester phenyl benzoate. So anything that react with uh, phenol, uh, it must be under uh, alkaline condition. Okay, anything that react with phenol, it must be under alkaline condition under reflux. Okay, okay, so that is for uh, uh, phenols reactions. Huh? Okay, then we further goes up to here nitrobenzene. So nitrobenzene you want to reduce to become aniline. What do you use? Okay, you use SN in HCl. Huh? Okay, SN in HCl. Huh? So this is how you uh, react with it. And then for the reaction of aniline, so similar to uh, similar to phenol, uh, which you react with bromine water, you form 2 4 6 phenol. This one you also react with bromine water. Okay, so you also form 2 4 6 aniline. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, the most important reaction is this one. The reaction to form uh, with benzene diazonium chloride to form uh, this one. Uh, so this is a very important reaction to form uh, uh, color dye. Uh. So what do you add? So this one must memorize the reagent. Uh. This one very important, uh, very basic. NaNO2 in HCl. Uh, 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. Okay, then uh, these are the two reactions. Uh, but, uh, okay, so you form now you form benzene diazonium chloride. So benzene diazonium chloride is specifically used to form color dye and to form phenol. So let's start off with the formation of phenol. So how do you form phenol? So you form phenol when you add water under reflux. Okay, you react with, uh, with water under reflux to form phenol. And then finally, uh, when you react benzene diazonium chloride with phenol, so as usual, when you involve the reaction with phenol, uh, it must always be in alkaline condition. Uh. What is the purpose of adding alkaline condition? Is to form the phenoxide ion. Okay, also under 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Uh. Okay, so for, to form uh, benzene diazonium. Okay, okay, and then uh, phenol can also use to prepare uh, polymer of this uh, phenol. So in here, uh, phenol, you must, uh, to hydrogenate it, you use hydrogen uh, in nickel under high temperature, high pressure. Okay, to form cyclohexanol. And then from cyclohexanol, if you want to form a hexane one two hexane dio acid, you add concentrated uh, HNO3. The reflux, huh? Okay, to form hexane one two dioic acid, and hexane one two dioic acid. If you want to form nylon six six, so you add hexane one six diamine. So this one you must memorize the structure, lah. NH uh, two CH two CH two CH two. CH two NH two, Okay, under reflux, then you form a nylon 66. About how to form this NH2, NH2, this one you have to uh, revise later lah on how to do this one. Uh. And last but not least, 
for oxidation, you can only oxidation for toluene and acetophenone. So you use KMnO4 slash H plus uh, reflux. Okay, this, this one also KMnO4 slash H plus reflux. Okay, so you form benzoic acid uh, and benzoic acid, you want to form benzoic chloride, you add PCL5. Uh, PCL5 uh, and then or you add uh, SOCl2 under heating. Uh. Okay, and last but not least, if benzoyl chloride, you want to form benzamide, just simply add uh, concentrated ammonia. Actually, no need concentrated. Uh, uh. Uh, ammonia itself is already sufficient okay, to form uh, benzamide. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess uh, with this, that is for the complete uh, mind map reactions of how you should fill in uh, in here. Okay, so uh, so uh, any questions that you want to want to ask in here because it's only uh, like fifteen minutes in here.